How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Syracuse Aviation and welcome back to another airport update. Today's airport update is a very exciting new airport announcement. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wichita Dwight D. Eisenhower International Airport. So yes, this is a new airport that I will be doing consistent uploads of. Um, my plan is to do once a month. Um, as you may know, I do also do Sarasota and that airport, to say the least, is pretty small and there's not always a whole lot of changes going on. If Wichita gets to be like Sarasota, I may end up doing a bi-monthly type of schedule where one month it's Wichita, the next month Sarasota, then back to Wichita the month after that, and so on and so forth. I hope I don't have to do that. I'd like to do monthly up to, up, updates uh, of each. We'll have to see, though. Time will tell. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get started here at Wichita at Gate 1. Um, before I start, one thing I really do like about Wichita is the glass jet bridges. That's the main reason I decided to do this as well as the awesome variety of aircraft that they do get. So, as I said, finally, starting at gate one, we have a Delta Connection CRJ-900. Uh, this aircraft has just arrived in from Minneapolis-St. Paul, and will be heading right back out to Minneapolis-St. Paul. Behind him at gate two, we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 717. This aircraft has arrived in from atlanta hartsville jackson International Airport, and will be heading right back out there. This is something I really like to include is the 717 because the only other airport that I'm able to use this in at the current time is Detroit, which is obviously that's justifiable because that's a huge Delta hub. How can they not get those there, right? So um, I'm very excited to be able to do this. These used to come into Syracuse. Now we're getting through 20s which is still really nice, but um, wouldn't mind a 717. So this airport is now the only smaller airport that I can do um, that does get Delta 717, so it's very nice to be able to finally have this um, to, to be used in an airport update that's not Detroit, so looking very nice here at gate 2, once again a Delta 717 heading out to Atlanta. Currently arriving in from Destin, Fort Walton Beach, we have this Allegiant Air Airbus A319 in the new livery, obviously with the fence tips, uh, not the silly Gemini version with the sharklets, obviously this is how it's supposed to be in real life, so looking very nice here, I really like this model, glad to be able to have it in another airport update once again. Um, as I mentioned, he's pulling in from Destin, Fort Walton Beach into Gate 3 here at Wichita. Allegiant has quite a few flights out of here. Um, they have Sanford, Vegas, I believe, a couple others. Um, I have my flight schedule right here, so I'm just kind of scrolling through to see what, what I can find. Uh, Phoenix Mesa is another one. And scrolling, scrolling. I'm trying to find some more for you guys just to kind of give some more info. Um... Yeah, I can't find any others at the current time, but I'm sure there's probably a couple more. But uh, in this update, we have the A319 represented for Destin Fort Walton Beach. So very nice to see there. Once again, he's pulling into gate three. Next to him at gate four, we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the heart livery with split scimitar winglets. Uh, once again at gate four, this aircraft has arrived in from Denver and will be hang heading right back out to Denver. Uh, very nice to see Denver here. I would think that this is on an 800, but I guess it's on a 700. Maybe they have some 800s coming here every so often. Um, so not much else to say there. Very nice to be able to have the Hart Livery 700 once again. Um, this this model really is amazing. Um, so a huge thanks to RM for being, being able to get this out to me. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah. Um, once again, coming in from Denver, we'll head right back out to Denver, the Southwest 737-700 in the Hart Livery. Next to him at Gate 5, we have another Southwest 737-700. This one is in the Canyon Blue Livery, this time with splits as well. This aircraft arrived in from St. Louis, and we'll be heading right back out to St. Louis. Uh, this is a very interesting destination for Southwest. They're, it's a pretty quick uh, flight. And uh, makes a lot of sense, I think, on the 700, so it's very cool. I love these little airports, like the size of Wichita, that get all these various Southwest destinations. I just think it's super cool, especially the Midwest area. Once again, Wichita is a great-sized airport. A lot of variety for its size, so very nice to be able to include this. The last aircraft for this update, represented here at Gate 6, is the American Eagle ERJ-145LR. Uh, once again at gate 6, and this aircraft has arrived in from Chicago O'Hare, and it'll be heading right back out to Chicago O'Hare. I'm looking at the schedule right now, this flight has been delayed by 40 minutes, so kind of unfortunate, but uh, I guess they're, I don't know, uh, that's pretty unfortunate to say the least. But nevertheless, very cool to see some American Airlines service here as well, getting some more legacy carriers in here is always a nice thing. I do not have any United aircraft represented in this update, as well as a couple other airlines I'm missing that I hope to acquire more of in the future. Um, so for now, uh, for American, it's very cool to see this. Dallas is on an A320 and A321, sometimes a 319, so I guess it depends on the time of day for that one. 
So hopefully NG gets their 321 mold back in here and they start making more American A321s. And uh, maybe Gemini or someone will do A319s and A320s with properly sized engines and a good color. Who knows? Hopefully that happens soon. I'd love to buy a couple of them. So that is the last aircraft for the airport update. All right, guys, so that'll do it for the first ever Wichita Airport update on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it may not have been, it, it's kind of um, bare bones, I guess you could say, um, for lack of a better word. Um, I kind of just rushed to put this one together. I still think it's pretty good regardless. Uh, I am planning to hopefully have its own terminal piece. Uh, this isn't the actual terminal. This is actually, if you watch some of my other videos, um, this is a little sneak peek of what's to come for the channel. This is not Wichita. This is another airport that I just used the terminal for. So I'll let you guys figure that out if you want to. Um, I'm going to try and keep you guys on your toes for that because that's pretty exciting. But use it for Wichita today. Hopefully, again, as I said in the future, I'd love to have this uh, an, a separate piece for Wichita as well as a separate board. But um, nevertheless, this has worked pretty well today for the most part. So. With that being said, that is the end of the airport update, so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, just leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.